Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hi, Good people. Miss. How are you this night? Good and you, Miss. Everybody nice. Thank you. I'm very, very well. Thank you for asking. Welcome, Elsie, Carla, Nevi, Edgardo, Canina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Maria Jose. Good night, hey, good evening. Welcome. Oswaldo Hernandez. Welcome. Gabriel Abigail. Jonathan Adonai. Brenda. Rachel. And we have Karen Xiomara. Welcome, everyone, to one more night, one more session. Remember, yesterday we were with the simple future, we'd be going to, right? We finished with the session one. We'll continue with section two. And in this one is going to be about this, the name, the name of this section is, what's the matter? What's the matter? It's like, hey, what's the problem? What's the difficulties that you have? And we're going to learn some vocabulary. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. So we're going to remember about them. Let's go ahead with the video. We got the video about that. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body Head Eye Ear Nose Mouth Tooth Teeth Chin Back Shoulder Chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, Feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. All right, then let's go ahead with the parts of the body vocabulary. We have here the first one that is head. Eye, ear, this part, ear. Then we have the nose. Then we got the mouth. Tooth, only one. Plural, teeth. It's different, right? It's not tooth. It's teeth in the plural case. That is an irregular noun because it's not normal. It does not contain S when you transform into the plural. Chin, wrist, wrist is this part, the muñeca, right? That's the wrist. So it's not the doll, it's the wrist. Yes, <laughs> it's not the doll. What about the arm? All the arm, right? <laughs> elbow, what's the elbow? Codo. El codo, right? The typical word here in El Salvador, right? <laughs> elbow. Throat. Throat. Then we have a neck. Neck. What else we have? Back. What is the back? Spalda. Spalda, correct. The back. Shoulder is this part. Shoulder. As we have two shoulders. Plural. Uh -huh. Chest. What's the chest? 
pecho. El pecho, correct. Stomach. 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 Good one. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good. Now we have thumb. The thumb is only this type of finger in your hand. Uy, like this. El dedito El gordo. Ajá, correct. This one, exactly. That's the thumb. Then we have hands. That is complete, right? Exactly that one. Yes. Finger. Only one. Plural, right? It can be two fingers, three fingers, five fingers. Then we have the leg. Knee. What's the knee? Rodilla. Rodilla, correct. Ankle. Carcanal. Tobillo. El, el tobillo. El tobillo. Ah, Alcañal, that's calf. Ah. Alcañal, you say calf. Calf. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the calf. What about what's food? The, what's the ankle? I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Ankle. What's ankle? Uh, ankle, this one means tobillo. Ah. Tobillo. Right. Mm -hmm. Then we have foot. Foot. What's foot? Pie. Aha. Uh -huh. In plural is feet. So it's not feet. foot. We don't say my foot. <laughs> my foot. We say my feet. It's the same as foot and teeth. Singular and plural. Then we have toe. Los deditos de los pies. Different. They are no fingers. It's toe. Toe only one and toes the plural. So it was saying that a very easy manner to memorize the parts of the body is by pointing them. So then I can say, this is my head, this is my nose, these are my ears. Remember, when it's plural, then you say, these are. If it's only one, this is. These are my fingers. These are my shoulders. Let's practice that activity. Edgardo, you start. You're going to mention three parts of the body. This is, these are. This is my forehead. Excellent. My forehead. Very good. This is my mouth. My mouth. My mouth. Nice. Uh -huh. uh, these are my shoulders. My shoulders. Yes. Move your shoulders. <laughs> Thank you very much, Edgardo. That's good. Let me continue. Mention three parts of the body. This is my haze. This is, is my ears. Eyes, right? Eyes. 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 Okay. If eyes. it's plural, if it's plural, then you say, these are my eyes. Okay. Yeah. These are my, my eyes. eyes. Very good. My eyes. Very eyes. Good. Uh -huh. um, this is my nose. This is my nose. Una. Uh -huh. This is my nose. These are my smart. These are my ears ears yes <laughs> these are my ears that's good thank you maria jose continue please my is hair this is my this is my hair my head this is my Mouth, my mouth, right? This will be the mouth. One more part. This is tongue. My tongue, creo que se dice. No. Tongue, tongue is a lengua, right? This is my tongue. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah. say, <laughs> this is my song, right? <laughs> That's good, Mario. Jose. Thank you. Good. Oswaldo Hernandez. Um, my throat. Aha. Uh -huh. This is my throat. 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 Uh -huh. throat. 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 That's nice. Uh -huh. Throat. Continue. Uh, Two more parts. Stomach. Stomach. This is my stomach. 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 Suena como una K al final. 
Stomach. Stomach. Very good job. Nice. Okay, one more part. Um, leg. Okay, this is my leg. You can show it. All right, very good. Thank you. Let's continue. Clara, you did. Uh, these are my eyes. Right. This is my arm. My arm? My arm. Very good. Okay. Uh, these are my shoulders. Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue then with Lesbia. This is my eyes. Plural, plural. These are my eyes. These are eyes. my eyes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> These this are is my nose. Oh, okay, excellent. This is my nose. This is my ear. Okay. This is my ear. My ear. ear. Very good. Uh, this is mm, my Hair, no sé cómo se pronuncia. El cabello. cabello. Oh, uh -huh. hair. This is my hair. hair. My hair. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Elsie, continue, Welcome. please. The, these are my teeth. These are? My teeth. My teeth? Yes, my teeth. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. This, this is my back. This is this my, is my back. back. Okay. These are my eyes. My eyes. These are my eyes. That's right, Elsie. Thank you. Elmer, continue, please. Uh, this is my head. Right. This is my neck. Correct. This is my chest. My chest. These are my fingers. These are my fingers. Very good job. Thank you. Ana Xiomara. This is my head. This is my hair. My head. My hair or hair? No, hair or hair. Ah, oh, ears. Ears. Ears, perdón. These are, these are, because it's plural, right? These are my ears. My ears. 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 Aha. This is my fix. This is my fix. Yes. Ah, okay. If it's plural, then you say these are. Remember, my plural fix. are. These are my feet. These are these my are. This are, are uh -huh. my fix. My feet. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. That's nice. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see with Gabriela. Gabriela Abigail. This is my their their are se dice verdad? If it's plural, these are. Yes. These are my hands. Okay, my hands, my hands. This is para singular, ¿cómo se dice mi? This is. This is. Uh -huh. This is my my head, my head. My Hair? My hair, uh huh. El cabello, hair. Sí. My, my hair. hair. Uh -huh. This is my my ay my teeth. Plural. These are. These are. These are my thing. My teeth. My, my teeth. teeth. My teeth. Right? My teeth. That is uh -huh. correct. Good one. Okay. Nice. Now, as we have here, identification of the parts of the body. Let's pass to another thing. We can also the talk is, about... Yes, tell me. In el caso de, de oído, porque nosotros hablamos de oreja y oído, ¿verdad? Dos partes. Entonces, en el caso de oído, que no quiero especificar orejas, quiero especificar oídos, mis, ¿cómo se, se diría? That will be internal. Internal. Or you can also say lump. My lumps. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because y, they are internal. Y, mm -hmm. y si son este las dos orejas, entonces ears. sería these are ears. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, If it's only uh -huh. one, you say this is because this is for singular. But for plural, mm -hmm. it's necessary to include these are. Is. Like, y la S al final. 
Aha, uh -huh. you have this one. Okay. The S, but remember that it depends um of the part okay. of the body. Mm -hmm. For example, foot is only one. This is my mm -hmm. foot, but plural, mm -hmm. these are my feet. Correct. Pero aquí solamente le agregaríamos la S. With the ear, yes. In the case oh. of ear, yes. These no are cambia. my ears. No cambia porque, bueno, okay. en el caso de, de dientes parece que sí cambia. Entonces, exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, you need to say teeth. Mm -hmm. Teeth. Thank you, miss. You're very welcome. If his foot is feet, so it changes. Now, let's move then to another case. We have the next objective. In the one we are going to identify the common illnesses or health problems. So it says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. For example, here we have cold. What is cold? It's un resfriado, right? Cold. Cough. It's like <coughs> cough. What is cough? Toser. Mm -hmm. But it's not the action. No se refiere acá a la acción, oh. aunque se escriba igual, pero oh. este, acá nos referimos a la, la, a la tos, al nombre, a la enfermedad, correct. Fever, high temperature, fiebre. Calentura. Ajá, calentura, fiebre, all that. Sortras. Like when you get sí, you cough, <laughs> sore throat. Es dolor de garganta. Dolor de... Uh -huh. Sore throat. I have a sore throat. You say, oh, I have a sore throat. I cannot speak very well. Headache. It's a pain, right? That you need to dolor take Tylenol. Uh -huh, correct. Then you have the other one, stomachache. What's a stomachache? The Lord the stomach. That's correct. Like when we eat something or we eat excessive quantity of food, after that, normally we have that. Another one, it will be toothache. What's a toothache? When when I when I don't uh, brush my teeth. Mm, that is one case too. Toothache oh, also. Aha, uh -huh, correct. A earache. Ear ache. Dolor de oreja. Nice. And also cramps. Yes. And cramps. Normally Calambre. athletes. Very good. Nice. Okay. We got a video about this. We're going to watch. It. Teacher. Tell me. En ese caso, las CH sonarían como K. Exactly. It's like that. Because you say ache. So it's not H. It's ache. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay. All right, let's watch the video about it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples 
on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick, or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys, there was a conversation there in the one we include all that vocabulary of the manner, how you feel if you have certain illness or some health problems. We Teacher, had... I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what's the meaning of terrific? Terrific. When you say terrific, this one means it's like great. It's like fantastic. Ah. It's synonym. So it's not terrible. It doesn't uh -huh. mean terrible. It's something positive. It's like great. If you want to substitute and say, I feel great, then you can say, I feel terrific. Terrific. Uh -huh. Very, very okay. well. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. That's the meaning. You're welcome. Let's practice it. So this one is, I feel homesick. You know, homesick is mid nostalgic, nostalgico. That makes homesick. Like when you travel to another country and you are in a long distance from your family or your friends. So you feel homesick. You miss your home. Let's practice this. This is conversation between Brian and Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Questions? Do you have new vocabulary? Hel 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 Let me check it. Headache? This one? Yes. Headache is like when you have a pain in your head. So that you say, I need Dolophin. I need Tylenol. 
because my head aches. So I have a headache. So okay. what is a headache? Headache. Thank you, teacher. Terrible. My pleasure. Any other Home question? Sick. Homesick. Nostalgic. Home sick. Nostálgico. Que extraña su hogar, su país, sus amigos. You miss your friends, your family, your country. Podría okay. ser entonces en, en nostálgico el sinónimo de deprimido. Eh, maybe it can be because sometimes uh -huh. depressed is because maybe we have a problem. Pero vaya, ese sería como depresión. Bueno, sí, depressed. Es similar. Uh -huh. sí. But homesick is the specific you miss. Homesick es específico que yo extraño a, a mi familia. Ajá, correct, sensible, porque yo extraño a mi país, extraño a mi familia. That's why it's homesick. O sea, no es que uno esté enfermo físicamente, sino que lo mismo le, le ocasiona eso. Puede ocasionar algo más, ¿verdad? Otra enfermedad física, un padecimiento física, que yo extraño a alguien, como cuando uno viaja. Edgardo, I remember you went to Honduras, right? Uh, right. Right? Yeah. But now you are in your home, or you continue yeah. in Honduras. Uh, no, I, I, I stay, I, I, uh, sorry, I'm in my home. Uh, to, uh, in a I arrived, I arrived today. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I, 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 I didn't, I, 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 I couldn't connect uh, yesterday because I, I was in a, in a town uh, with that Wi-Fi. Yes, I imagine. Yes, mm -hmm. there was no connection. Yeah. So you were homesick, I imagine, because you miss your home. You miss like your family, your friends. Yeah, or you miss pupusas. That's been oh. homesick, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's so right, that, teacher. Uh huh. So that is you, homesick. You, you, you remember. I, I remember, exactly. <laughs> 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 so they are different, right? Homesick, I miss. But the press is different because I have problems or something, right? Any other question? Yeah. Okay, let's practice it. Time to practice it. Oswaldo Hernandez, you're Brian. Start, please. Hey, Kenichi. How Kenny. are you? Hey, Kenichi. Kenny. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Thank you. Edgardo, continue. Oh, I'm not good. Uh, I'm not so good. Actually. I'm not so good. I'm not. I, I'm not so good, actually. Very good job. Thank you, Nelly. Right. What the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Right. Very good, Gabriela. Well. Well, I have a. I have a head that. He headache. Headache. I have a headache in a bake a cake. A cake. That's right. Thank you, Gabby. Kathy and Steph. Kathy? Maybe ah. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe. Maybe you have the flu. That's right. Thank you, Clara. You did. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Really good. Thank you. Latvia. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have let's have lunch at that new Japanese Japanese restaurant. Japanese, Japanese restaurant. Restaurant. That's cool. Thank you. Ana Xiomara. Does a rain um, idea 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 dance dance Brian I I feel um, esa no me la puedo decir. better 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 right aha uh -huh. better 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 like with R como con better better Better. better already al, 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 All, already 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 
right one. That's good. Thank you. Nice one. Okay, we got this conversation. Now, let's continue with more head problems and illnesses. So if they are like synonyms, you can substitute instead or replace health problems. You can say illnesses, padecimientos, enfermedades. Those are illnesses too. And we have some of them here. Teacher, I have a question Hello. now. Hello. What's the difference between illnesses mm -hmm. and um, Disease. diseases? Good question. When you talk about illnesses, these ones are very common. They are common mm. illnesses like this. These are not diseases. When you talk about diseases, these ones are because they were pronosticated by the doctor so that you are sure of that. You go to the doctor and they make you a lot of exams and they tell the person, I'm sorry, you have diabetes. That is a disease. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, teacher, eh, no tiene nada que ver la, la gravedad, por ejemplo, de... It has to do, what happens is that these ones are common. Esos de acá, illnesses son padecimientos comunes. Ajá. Pero ya cuando uno va al doctor y ya lo examina a uno, puede ser una enfermedad eh, ya diagnosticada. Que le diga, ah, ok, usted es alérgico. That's a disease, es un padecimiento ah, un poco yeah. más serio. Yeah. Y que uno no, no como que diga, ay, debo tener eso, no es dolor de espalda, a backache, pero no he ido al doctor. El doctor Algo no pasajero. Realidad. Ajá, algo, no, right. algo no diagnosticado es illness, es algo no diagnosticado. That is correct. You go to the doctor and tell, they tell you the truth. Uno va al doctor y le dice la verdad, qué es lo que tiene. No es un simple dolor de espalda, puede ser algo más. Can be something else. Perfect. Y eso es algo que Next. uno dice que uno lo tiene, pero tal vez no es solamente eso. Uh -huh. That's very, very different. Or when you say, I have a stomachache, you go to the doctor, maybe they are parasites, maybe it's a virus, puede ser un virus, intoxicación, pero uno automáticamente dice stomachache. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ya diagnosticado puede ser ya algo más serio. Pero ya que el doctor me dice, esto es lo que tiene. It's Thanks, more serious. You. Thank You're you. great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other question with this? We can practice with this one. For example, this, it says, a backache, an earache, a headache, a stomachache, a toothache, a cold, a cough, a cough like a cough, a fever, remember it's high temperature, more than 37 degrees. The flu, what is the flu? Gripe. Gripe, correct. So this is very common. In these days, the flu is very common. Ah, uh, I have I have uh, I have other question Tell about me. about this. What is the difference between the flu and the cough? And the cough, okay. The flu normally is like you have the problem with the nose, like uh -huh. right. But cough is like, wow, you feel fear. Exactly. So it's, it's, it's tos. <laughs> you need sorritone. <laughs> you need gargantina. <laughs> <laughs> Because, right? Like right. That. So uh -huh. that's different. The flu is when I need an aspirina. You need an aspirin. Yeah. Remember that. Ah, the flu? Mina, ahí. Exactly. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, correct, because right, you don't feel well. You cannot breathe very well. You cannot sleep very well. So as we know that the flu is like a mix. It's a mix. You have a headache, you can have fever. It's all a collection. Algo generalizado. <laughs> vaya, vaya, mis. Y entonces, uh -huh. eh, the flu es algo como generalizado, una, una cosa uh -huh. así, pero eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. The hear dies. Hear dies. Headache. Eh, headache. Headache. Ajá. Uh -huh. here, here. Is you have a pain in your head. It's here you feel. I need Tylenol. I need an aspirin. I need Dolofen. Panadol. It's only eh, for the head. Cabeza, entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's specifically for the head. 
Mm. Y sabemos que en algunos casos cuando nos da gripe, pues también se nos acumulan un montón de Pero no de se relaciona con la gripe. No all the time, no siempre. O sea, puede ser por cualquier cosa, no se relaciona con la gripe. Exactly, not all the time, no siempre, no siempre. A veces, a veces sí nos da por, por la gripe, ¿verdad? A veces es por estrés. En many of the occasions, muchas de las ocasiones es por estrés. Por estrés, ahora I have a headache. Why? I, because I, I have a lot of work. También el calor, esto, eso de, últimamente por it's el true. calor pasado. Ajá, when it's very hot these days, normally you have a headache. A stomach ache when you eat excessive quantity of food or something that is not good for you. There are some people that they are allergic to a specific type of food, for example, to the seafood, a los mariscos. Some people, they are allergic. So they eat that, they eat shrimp or cocktail. Cool, they man. can have <laughs> uh -huh. They can get a stomachache. <clears throat> a toothache, we need to go to the dentist. Sore eyes. Dolor de ojos. Like when we have... Uh, Conjuntivitis. Conjuntivitis. Right. You remember that? A los que ya padecieron de eso. You remember that? Oh, it is so terrible when you have conjunctivitis. Sartre, dolor de garganta. Right? When you have the flu or you cough, that's another reaction, right? Another one. The sartre, because I have a cough. Mm -hmm. So let's practice here with I have. So if I say, I have a backache. I have an earache. I have a headache. So you continue and you tell me. Elsie del Carmen, give us an example. I have a... I have a toothbrush. A toothache. Toothache. That's right. Good one. Elmer, continue. Another example. I have a backache. A backache. Backache. That's all right. Good one. Susana del Carmen. I have a sore throat. I have a? I have a sore throat. Oh, a sore throat. Very good. Thank you. Continue, Oswaldo Morales. My mother has a cold. Mm, excellent. My mother has a cold. You're using third person. Very good job. That's nice. Camila? Yeah. Yes. Give us an example, please. Con esas mismas tengo que usar un ejemplo, verdad? Ajá. Give us an example. But using I have and include the illness or the health problem. Ah, the I have a cough. I have a cough. Uh huh. Repeat it, please. I have a cough. Hello. Problems with the audio, maybe. Denise? I have a headache. A headache? This one? Sí. A headache. Very good. Thank you. Let's see then... Um... Rebecca, Rebecca Vanessa. I have the flu. I have the flu. That's right. Very good, guys. Now, let's go ahead here. Remember that in the video, it was this instructor. When you investigate, you ask, what's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, what's the problem that you have? What's wrong? It's the same case. What's the problem? Do you have any problem? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Now, notice here that we include, after I have, we include the health problem or the illness. So you include the noun. But after feel, you are going to include an adjective. Negative adjectives, sick. So you can say, I feel sick. I feel awful. Awful is like horrible or terrible. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. Miserable is like very bad, terrible. 
positive adjectives. I feel fine. So very good, right? I feel great. Great is like excellent. I feel terrific. Terrific is like great. I'm fantastic. It's really, really good. Now, we gave examples of I have with the illness. Now, we're going to give examples with I feel. So, let's include an adjective here. I'll start and include one more here. So, if I say I feel fantastic. So, we can ask the question. How do you feel? Or how are you, right? That's another possibility. How are you? Mm -hmm. That is very common to ask it. How are you? How are you or how do you feel? And then you give different adjectives that it depends on how you feel. What's the characteristics that describe you? Let's begin. Let's see, Clara, you did. Tell us. How do you feel, Clara Judith? I feel great. I feel great. Very good. Clara, you are going to ask the questions to Lesbia. You can ask, how do you feel or how are you? I do feel. Yo tengo que hacerle la pregunta a ella. Ajá, correct. Yes. Ah, okay. How do you feel? Lesbia, ¿verdad? That's all right. Mm -hmm. Correct. How do you feel, Lydia? Nice. I, I feel fine. I feel fine. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's good. Ana Xiomara, you formulate the question. How do you feel or how are you? Activate the microphone, please. ¿A quién se la va a hacer, Miss? Perdón. <laughs> oh, you're going to ask Elsie del Carmen. Thank you. Yes. Hi, do you feel? How, how are how? you? How, How do you do feel? You feel. Uh, that's good. Yes, only that one. You can select only one, one option. How do you feel? Repeat it, please, Yomara. How do you feel? How? How, How, How do, do you feel? Do you feel? Feel. Nice. That's correct. Good. Thanks. Elsie? I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> good. Nevi, continue, please. And you are going to ask Maria Jose. Maria Jose, how, you, how do you feel? How? How, do, how you feel? do you feel? Nice. I feel. I feel great. I feel? I feel great. I feel great. I feel great. Great. Very good job. Nice. Wendy, now you ask Susana. Wendy? Hello, can you hear Wendy? Wendy Graciela? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, repeat, please. You formulate the question, please. You formulate the question to Susana del Carmen. Mm. How do you feel? Oh, the question to uh, uh, Susana. To Susana, correct. To Susana del Carmen. Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. I feel great. Okay, very good. That's nice. Great. Camila, now you're going to ask Carla Saraí. You formulate the question. Okay. Uh, how do you uh, how do you feel um Camila? Camila. Mm -hmm. Camila? Camila? Are you present, Camila? Okay, let's ask Gabriela. Ask Gabriela. How, how do, do you, you feel, feel, Gabriela? Thank you. I feel Mm, terrific. Terrific. That's correct. Good one, guys. Thank okay. You. Thank you so much. So this is the manner how we express, right? In what state is that we feel? Any question about this? 
No question me. No? Okay, then let's go ahead. Let's practice this short conversation here. Miss. Tell me. La asistencia. Yes, thank you. <laughs> We're going to pass the list first. Thank you, Nevi. Let me know if you're present, please. All right, let's begin with Álvaro Mauricio. Álvaro Mauricio. Ana Xiomara. Presente, Miss. Thank you so Present. much. Thank you. <laughs> Brenda Rachel. Brenda. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Camila Alessandra. Present, teacher. Thank you, Camila. Carolina Elizabeth. Carolina Elizabeth. Clara Judith. Present. Thank you, Clara. Denise Rosalía. Denise Rosalía. Thank you, Denise. Edgardo Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. Elmer Giovanni. Present, Miss. Thank you, Elmer. Elsie del Carmen. Elsie del Present. Carmen. Thank you, Elsie. Gabriela Abigail. I'm here. Thank you so much. Genesis Abigail. Genesis Abigail. Jaime Alfredo. Jaime. Thank you, Jaime. Jonathan Adonai. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Oswaldo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Xiomara. You're welcome. Karen Xiomara. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karina Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth. Carla Elizabeth. Carla Sarai. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sarai, right? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Kathy Esther. <laughs> Present, teacher. Thank you, Kathy. Lázaro Alberto. Lázaro Alberto. Ledvia Eloida. Present, teacher. Thank you. Igual. María José. Present. Thank you. Nevi. I'm here, Miss. Right, thank you. Oswaldo Stanley. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa. Present Miss. Thank you so much. Rodrigo Alexis. Rodrigo Alexis. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Wendy Graciela. Wendy Graciela. I am here. Get me Wendylet. Get me Wendylet. All right. Thank you guys so much. Let's move then. All right. So let's make this short conversation here. That's about and continue with the illnesses, with the health problems. So let's move to this part. I'm going to mark it. He says, what's wrong? Do you have a headache? No, I don't. Do you have an earache? Yes, that's right. We're going to practice it. We're going to ask the questions there. Let's see Elmer, Elmer Giovanni. Let's practice the conversation. What's wrong? Do you have a headache? You are being. The microphone, please. Activate the microphone. Thank you, Elmer. Not, I don't. No, I don't. Not, I don't. Look at that here. Don't say not. You say no. No. No, I don't. Very good job. That's nice. Do you have an earache? Yes, that's right. Very good job. Nice. Okay. 
Let's continue. Maybe now we are going to personalize it. In this, for example, if I ask you, what's wrong? Do you have a stomachache? And you say, no. What's wrong? Do you have a, a default? Do you have a? Default? If I. Which one? Uh -huh. Which one is it? I see backache. And gripada. Oh, the flu. Flu. Okay. Do you have the flu? Okay, nice. Repeat it, please. What's wrong? Do you What's have the wrong? flu? Do you have the flu? No, I no, don't. I don't. Do you have a, a cool? Okay, do you have a cold? And then I say, yes. Cold? Yes. That's right. That's right. Very good. Okay, now let's personalize it again. Wendy. Wendy, what's wrong? Do you have a cough? No. No, I don't. Very good. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa, do you have a headache? Yes, that's right. That's right. Good one. Okay, now let's go on. Edgardo, yes. what's wrong? Do you have a sore throat? No, I don't, teacher. I have a, a cold. I have a cold. Yeah, that's correct. Good one, guys. Nice. Okay. Now, notice there that this one is talking about illnesses and also you have like health problems. Let's go ahead here on this part. Remember that here in the platform, you will have the exercise, but it's necessary to listen to it. But now let's talk a little bit about some of the common medications. By the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems. So let's check here. We have, for example, antacid, aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. This one is very difficult to see, but I'm going to write it. These ones are eye drops. Son gotas para los ojos, eye drops. These ones. All right, so all of these ones, they are very common to have in our house. Which ones are the ones that you have in your house? Tell me, or which are the ones that you know? For example, another one that is not here is dolophin. And dolophin is very common. What do you use dolophin for? Normally, for a headache, right? Any other, any other medication that you know? Other medication for for the headache. Tell me. Tylenol. Tylenol. Uh -huh. Tylenol. Dolophin. What else? Panadol. Panadol. Acetaminophen. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Acetaminophen. What else? Ibuprofen. Uh -huh. You have high ibuprofen. Metocarbamol. That is another one. That one is very good too. Yes. What about antacid? Do you know other antacid, antiacidos, antacid? Sucradel. Sucradel, aha. Uh -huh. That one is a variety, right? Sucrasil is another one, right? Pepto-bismol. pepto, -bismol. pepto -bismol. That's Sucrasil. an antacid, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Sucrasil. Aha. Uh -huh. You mentioned sucrasil. What else? Lansoprasol. Lansoprasol, yes. Omeprazole also, right? Omeprazole, yes. Omeprazole. So there are it's a lot of combination of that. <laughs> what about the aspirin? What do we use aspirin for? Well, it can be for the headache, right? Do we use it for the backache? Uh, also with um, uh, the flu. Mm, for the flu? What do you use for the flu? Medications. I I aspirin for a lot. Aspirin? No, I don't think so. 
This other um, ones, like palagrip, for example, yes, is for the flu. Yes, yes. Palagrip. Pirina solo general, is that? Uh -huh, it's only general, but for the flu, it's like palagrip. For the fever. For the fever, it's aspirin. Uh, uh -huh. For the fever, it can help. It's like Tylenol, right? Like Tylenol, it's like very good for the headache. For the fever, it's also very good. Any other one that is good for the flu? We have palagrip, virogrip. Vaccine. Ah, Tapsin, yes, that's for the flu, that's true. Chamomile tea. Chamomile tea with honey, right? Té de, de manzanilla con mielita, with honey. It's very good for and the, the honey. Cup. And the honey, yes. What else? Panadol. Panadol, yes. Panadol Ultra. Chicken soap. For the headache, right? Chicken soup, yes. <laughs> That is what normally mothers make, right? When you are sick, don't worry, my dear. I'm going to prepare a good chicken soup for you. And you are going to revive. So that's a good medicine. Mothers. The mother's medications are very good. They're normally natural. And this uh, eucalyptus. Uh -huh. ah, eucalyptus also is good. Like sorritones, right? Big vapor. Yes. Big vaporu is also very good. You can put it on your trough and you sleep very well. And also on the chest, you can put it and, and you can sleep very well. Any mm, other one? Uno, <laughs> I'm sorry? Todo untado lo dejan ah, a uno, yes, me... it's true. <laughs> Hasta chiloso sentía la nariz. <laughs> Yeah, that was very terrible. <laughs> what about cold pills? Pastillas para el resfriado. Cold pills. Which ones do you know? Glorfeniramina. Glorfeniramina. Antifluids. Ah, antiflu. Ah, Ambroxol. actually, yes. Ajá. Ambroxol. Ambroxol. Amoxicilina. Amoxicilin. Ajá. It's good for the throat. Yes. Yes, that's Ambroxol. Normally, it's like a cough syrup, right? Like un jarabe para la tos. That's cough syrup. Which ones do you know? Ambroxol, you mentioned. What else? Any other cough syrup? Arabe de Vic. Ah, yes, that's Formula true. Formula 44. Ah, I think. Oh, yes, 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 it's true. I ginger remember the TV commercial. With milk, with uh -huh. ginger tea, with uh -huh. honey. It's true that it's very good for when you have the cough. Uh huh. When you have a cough, then you can drink that. Is and it's also effective with honey and the eucalyptus leaves. Con las hojitas de eucalyptus, right? You can make a mix of chamomile, like manzanilla, right? Chamomile, eucalyptus. It's a bomb <laughs> with honey. It is really good, really, really good. And also the ginger, the one you mentioned, ginger. Jengibre, the ginger. Uh -huh, it's really good. Any other cough syrup that you know? Broncoelix. <laughs> Broncoelix is another cough syrup that is very Salbutamol. sweet. Sal 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 Salbutamol. Is that a cough syrup? Is cough syrup? Broxol. Ah, Broxol. Loratadina. Is in cough syrup or pills? Eh, eh, ah, so it's a liquid, it's cough syrup, it's harabe, cough syrup. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, all right. What about eye drops? Gotas para los ojos. Which ones do you know? Antes había de ramicina. Antes, pero hoy creo que Ajá. Yes. Which one, sorry? Ejemodos. Ah, Ejemo 2. That was very popular in the past. That is true. Others that are very common, they are called genteal. Have you heard about genteal? Like this. Genteal. Darts are also very good eye drops to help you. Like the, to eliminate the irritation of your eyes. So they help a lot. So if you wear glasses, they are very good. 
to use those ones. All right, so we have different common medications here. Do you know others? <coughs> other eye drops? You mentioned AJMO2. We have Genteal. Bless you, Nevis. You missed the ones. <laughs> you mentioned the... I'm sorry. We passed you the rhinitis. <laughs> okay. So we have this one, right? Just to mention like a small quantity of this. But then on Monday, we are going to see more examples of this and we're going to watch the video and see more of this, more practice of this. Any question? Not question. 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 No question. No. Yes. question. Yes. No. Go ahead. Say. In the case of the para la tos, para la irritación de la garganta, eh, syrup is jarabe y drop is pastillas. When you check about drops, this one it means. Let me mark it here. Syrup it means jarabe en general. Cuando es específico es cough. Cough syrup, jarabe para la tos. Porque también hay jarabe como el de Hershey. Have you noticed in the supermarket it appears the bottle and then it says Hershey syrup. So right. it's syrup in general. But drops it means gotas. Gotas. Right? Uh -huh. But also it can be like that. Like como grajeas, pastillitas. Um, they can be. In general, in general, drops son gotas. Okay. It's like this one. That's why it says eye drops. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss. It says half drops. You're welcome. Miss, so it can be... inhalador? Tell me. Cuando es inhalador? Ah, that's inhaler. But it's a spray. It's a spray that you have. Like, you have to inhale, inhaler. With that. Yes. Or injections too, right? That they are very common. They are more effective. I yes. prefer, I prefer injection than cough syrup and pills. Because imagine that with this type of medicine, you have to have a lot of discipline. I don't like injection. You don't like them? I don't no. like them, but I prefer. Remember, <laughs> uh, Nevi and Rebecca, they used to be in the previous group. Nevi and Rebecca and... Y otra compañerita también estaba en Gabi. el anterior. Y, y Gabi, ¿verdad? Gabi. Ajá, en Gabi. Y fue una clase que la tuvimos que suspender porque estaba súper mal de, de la garganta. No se me quitaba la gripe. Y tomando pastillas y no la da. I took like uh, pills for the cough and nothing. I got fever, high temperature, the cough and nothing. So that I know I'm going to decide to put on injection. And the next day I was better. El siguiente día yo estaba mejor. Uh -huh. I was it's so it's direct. Even. You were Even. you were miserable, teacher. Ah, exactly. I I felt miserable those days because you have to speak a lot. You have to speak, so that is like a the principal tool, the herramienta principal of the job of your work. You have to speak, and, and it's very difficult. So you need to find something effective <laughs> <laughs> to react to that. <laughs> All right, guys. Any other question? No question. No? All right, guys. I hope you have a very, very nice weekend. Relax, rest. Remember, tomorrow, no classes. Okay. No classes sí. mañana. It's only from See Monday you. to Monday, Thursday. Teacher. Thanks to you, Monday. Monday. Thank you so much. See you Monday, teacher. Thank you, Monday. Have a nice day. The same night, to you. Night, Thank, night. Night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take care. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. Have a good night. Nice weekend. <laughs>